the Fumbled Anthology presents Inversion, a Call of Cthulhu scenario written by Alex Gillot and Bud Baird, featuring Alex Green as Yves Toussaint. You've been here, you know a lot about what is happening in here, don't you? Emily Moxon as Dr. Amelia Taylor. I can tell that the man has such a strong intellect and you know that that line between creativity and madness is often quite blurred um so Jan Roger as Clark Blake uh you know what it's it's all right I'm sure you were going through some stuff it's been a it's been a rough day but uh just don't do it again eh Liam Braid as Will Billy Baker uh, uh, I, th- I think these two will be looking for a room soon. How about you and me work on how we get the fuck out of here, eh? And the Keeper of Arcane Law is Alex Gilliot himself. Part 5. Upstairs or Downstairs. So, I'm walking up to you, I'm asking for consent. Um, in terms of I'm going to come up, I'm going to touch you, I'm going to start calming you down. So the, uh, it's like, Billy, I'm coming up to you, you need to stop. I'm going to put my arms around you and I want you to just breathe. I, 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 I think Billy starts crying. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you notice he's, he's bleeding from his shoulder where, where he was shot. Um, uh, you know, there's 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 a big blood patch on on his shoulder. Um, the uh, uh, what's Eve's doing while all this is happening? Eve's is going to go talk to Popov and get this journal because okay. Doctor Taylor clearly failed at her assignment. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he's yeah going to go up to him and just be like, Doctor Doctor Popov. Uh, are you in there? Uh, Miss, Mr. Toussaint. Ah, uh, finally. Someone can say my last name correctly. Okay. <laughs> You've been here. You know a lot about what is happening in here, don't you? I didn't hear anything that was going with Taylor, so... I'm just... I'm opening up with fresh eyes, so... Ah, uh, you know what's going on here, do you? Yes. Very good, very good. And you have your journal? It is right here. Mm. Give it to me. I can help you. Just open the door. I open up the Judas Gate. Yeah, it, 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 do- it doesn't look like it'll fit through there. <clears throat> Can I do a physics roll to find a way for the book to fit through the Judas Gate? <laughs> Without opening the door. <laughs> Without opening the door. I mean, it, it's a somewhat flexible book. I, I'll, I'll say if you really, really want to squeeze it through, you probably can. So it, it, right. It's just this awkward sort of like twisting and sort of jiggling it through and whatnot. I put a picture of it, yeah. by the way, in the... Uh, in yeah, the, so no, it looks thing. like a hard cover to me. All right. <clears throat> It's, I mean, if he doesn't want to do that, then like, if he's like, you have to open the door, then I'll, 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 I'll cop that. But yeah, I, I think like, you're probably no. Could do through the gate. He wants me to open the door. All right. Yeah. In that case, I'll be like, how about if you do not give me the book, I will take the gun that is next to this poor prisoner here, and I will shoot you square in the head, and you will never see. Your motherland again, and that's an intimidate roll. If, can I roll intimidate? Okay. Uh, on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. I haven't oh, seen yeah, this side of Eve's yet. Yeah. Sounds uh, dangerous. Oh, that's a forty-one. <laughs> I'm going to spend one point of luck to make that a success. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a little pause uh, as as he sort of feels the weight of what you're saying, and and I mean, as far as you can tell, he believes you. Hmm. I have um, seen the dreams pop off. I have seen them. And they're bad for you. Give me the book. With that gun, would you 
take your own life like she did I'm stronger than her I would always be stronger than her you are here open the door and it's yours I'm gonna open the door it's a, it's just a, it's like a slide bolt like a big hit yeah dip to so you, you slide it and and it opens yeah and and the, the end of the book sort of like slides out to the opening just gently it's Slam the door grab shut. It. Okay. <laughs> I grab it. Yep. I slam the door shut yep. first. The book's on the floor. Yep. Slam the door shut, okay. lock it, grab the book. Yep. Yeah. It, it, you have the book now. It's uh <clears throat> it's it's a it's a it's a fairly beefy sort of like, you know, hardcover journal. Mm. Um obviously it's been you know, the cover's been modified, it's been sort of scratched up and, and uh the strange eye like symbol has been uh, uh has been etched into it. But uh yeah, it, it's it's. <clears throat> you can see that it's you know just kind of sort of as, at a glance that it's full of just handwritten pages. Uh, it looks pretty packed with uh, with everything. Cool. Um, I I might just do a quick skim first before I go back to the rest of the group because I can hear a lot of commotion going on. And I'm not sure what's happening, and I don't really want to know. I, if there's danger, I don't want to be anywhere near it. So I'm probably just going to start skimming. Through sure. <laughs> and all right. Um, having, as I said, most a, most of it is yeah. is handwritten Russian. Um, you do you do pick up uh, the name that he was saying quite an, quite often throughout Zakar, which is spelled uh, D Z A Q A R. Um, you see it. Yeah. In a, you, you see it a number of times uh, a car. Uh, yeah. uh, throughout, and mm. uh, you know it's clear that his his writing started off more, I don't, you know, more legible at the beginning, but uh, by the end it, it's it's pretty frantic. Uh, you also you also flip by some rather unsettling looking drawings in there. Um, uh, some of them just some of them appear to be. Uh, uh, Strange, what look like almost like arcane symbols, but they're made out of small little equations, um, almost like you know some sort of physics equations that uh, that don't really seem to mean much to you directly at first, but you recognize the symbols, and they but they don't also they also don't seem like they're random, you know what I mean? Like any anyone anyone can just take those symbols and put them together and make it you know make it look like a, a scientific theorem. But this stuff looks like it has meaning to it somewhere. In fact, it's quite fascinating to you as you, as you as you as your eyes stop on some of these, as your brain, your 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 physics brain just immediately begins to want to figure out what it says. You know, it's sort of reflexive almost. This is fascinating. <clears throat> what, what could it mean? Um, can you give me a power roll, please? Absolutely. Uh, power roll is fifty, and I rolled oh fifty on a fifty. That is a she has the success. Okay. Um, this um, this book, you immediately get the the feeling that this book is very important to you. It, it just has mm. a, a, a feeling of like this is significant to me. Mm. You know, you, you you immediately feel attached to it in a way that uh, you know it, it has personal value to you almost immediately. Mm. Mm. These assholes at CERN will finally accept me if I show them this. And I'll <laughs> put it in Cuts. the... I'll, yeah, put it in my... I'll hold it. Yeah. And then I'll walk, I'll walk out now, yeah. I'll walk out. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, out in the hall, Dr. Taylor, you're still holding holding Billy, who's holding sort of... Holding a sobbing who's sort Billy. Of bro- broken down, sobbing. And and you feel his his muscles sort of just sort of release and, and the tension releases, and it's about this time, Billy, that you really start to feel the pain in your shoulder because, you know, the the sort of rage had sort of blacked it out. Uh, Clark, you, you're you st- you're still out there with you still have the taser. Yeah, I would have um, walked away and given them space after failing to shoot the taser. At Billy, <laughs> <laughs> you're embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, uh, you do. By the way, you do notice, Clark. You do notice that this uh, this. Uh, 
This soldier does not have a gun, uh, but there's one on the floor. Yeah, I was well aware that you guys didn't see who was holding the gun. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, um, um, you'll go. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a revolver on the floor. It looks, it looks like it's, it's relatively small caliber. It's not a, yeah, not a dirty hairy gun. <clears throat> I'll pick it up at least for maybe the okay. doctor or something. I'm, I'm not really prone for violence, even though I'm big sure. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's yeah, it's it's a like I said, small caliber revolver. Um uh Eves, you come out and you you, you witness all this, you see a, a a freshly mutilated Russian body, uh and you see the you know, Doctor uh, Taylor and, and Billy and all this sort of around. So what do you do? Mon Dieu, what happened here? Uh uh just Is Billy... everyone okay? Yeah, Billy had a bit of a moment. Uh I can mm, see that. Yeah. Sparky boy, you good? Did you get it out of your system? Uh, I'm like shell shocked. So Amelia might have to try some psychology on me. I'll probably go up to the probably go up to the doctor and just ask like, "What's going on? Is he okay?" Not right now. Walk away. Because I'm still like Billy. St- I'm still like holding Billy. And reassuring him and shushing him. So I'm like down at his level over the body. And then I start asking Billy, I'm like, are you okay? Are you hurt? I I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. You can think about that right now, Billy. We'll talk about it later. I, I don't mean to I don't mean to be pseudo keeper, but I'll give you something if you pass a psychology roll on me. That's fine. Pseudo keeper. Um, Actual keeper. Are you happy for me to do that? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, go for it. (laughs) Um, That's a success. Alright, while I'm saying I killed him, you can see it in my face and my eyes. I'm not talking about the Russian on the floor. Okay. Billy, you're not there right now. Right now you're here, and I need you to think about what's happening in your own body. Start stepping out of your head and feeling what's happening in your body. Are you hurt? Are you okay? And I'm, at this point, instead of having my arms around you and I'm consoling you, I'm starting to bring you in front of me so that I've got eye contact, and I'm getting you to start like assessing your body. So I'm like, as soon as I do that, I recognize that you have a gun wound um, but then I'm also checking for other potential breaks or things like that uh, it, it would just be the gun wound but yeah you, you can just see that, that Billy's in a sobbing mess and yeah when he says I killed him he's not talking about the Russian and he, he's just like I want to go home I know you do Billy we all want to go home Right now, I need to get you healed up, and we can go from there. If you want to tell me anything while I do that, you're more than welcome to. But we're going to come over here, away f- from that, and we're going to sit down. Clark, Eves, have either of you got a first aid kit? Uh, over here, I've got it. Okay, can I try and perform first aid? Sorry? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll just sit next to you. have got the first aid kit. Go for it, yeah, or you. Alrighty, so you've got it there. Uh, I'll just roll first aid. Uh, yep, so that's a success. Okay, so you get one one uh, one hit point back from that. Um, and as you're sort of talking about this this go, you know, the idea of going home, you realize, um, you you, you sort of uh, remember back to the recording you heard and and. The, the, the state of this place and, and what's happening and you realize that um, that that there is a, that there seems to be a ticking clock that more of these pulses mm. those that horrible yeah. thing that happened are coming yeah I was just and about that, to say um, just like just like last time Amelia yeah. tried psychology me like I gave you a bit mm. of kernel just there but once again I think Billy's gonna like try and deflect and go like why you're asking me like what am I talking about with you know 
I killed someone. I just start deflecting and go, how, how long until the next pulse? Uh, yeah, I'll go do a physics roll to fuck, uh, physics yeah. or intelligence to figure out where the next pulse will be. Yeah, a uh, physics roll will be better. Otherwise, yeah, you physics, have to get yeah, done. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. Uh, yeah, 41 and a 90. That is a hard success. Nice. So, I've done the mass um, okay. in the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, awesome. Let me double check. Um, uh, how long has it been here? It looks like you're looking at about uh, 50 minutes based on your your own personal clock. 5 0? Or one five? 5 0, yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, like, uh, oh, the last pass was what, uh, 10 minutes ago, uh, and then the previous one was according to this one. Uh, it's uh, just under an hour. We don't have a lot of time. We need to keep moving. Okay. Uh, doctor, are you sure he's okay to continue? As much as any of us are. Billy, how's your arm? Uh, a bit sore. Yeah, so Billy's very quiet and shell shocked, but I think he's out of the the current bout of madness. He's still insane, but he's out of the current. <clears throat> right. Good job, Doctor. Clark, have you got that gun? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got, I got you one. Here you go. Oh, there you go, mate. Merci. Um, <clears throat> I'll just check how many bullets have I got in the gun. In the one that was out the floor. Yeah. Uh, there are none. There was, there was, there was ah. there's one, there's, there's one, there's one empty shell. Uh, okay. That's okay, maybe I could hit someone with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I go to Clark and I'm like, can I please have my taser back? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I would have probably just dropped it and left it outside. <laughs> uh, How many uses does that taser have? Uh, I'm not sure. I think, I think they can be, re they can be... They can be reloaded, but you need the yeah. cartilage. So the um, so the ones that have a projectile, the projectile actually comes off because um, it's obviously going to be connected okay. to the taser. Yeah. So um, well, in that maybe case, she has uh, spares. Out of it. Maybe in that case, Amelia, give me, give me a luck roll. You so can you any, probably charge, still use it, but you couldn't use it as a projectile. No, you yeah. might, with my knowledge of tasers. I should probably have researched this before. <laughs> But I don't know anything Sorry. about tasers. Just yeah, just I do a, tell you about tasers. Right. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we're just saying do a luck roll to see if you have more. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't pass. Okay. So yeah, no, you you didn't happen to pack any other extra cartridges, but uh, as you said, you can you can still use it like hands, you know, with direct mm. contact. It'll still work. Mm. One or two sure. shots per thing normally. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Usually you have two. Yeah. Yep. I think it's only fair. I'm just saying. I think it's only fair. Clark takes the lead on the next scene oh, because not, I don't think sure. Clark's done much so far. That's all right. <laughs> um. Well, yeah. According to let's see. According to the uh, at least the Call of Cthulhu book, anyway. The the projectile tasers are, have three uses. So. Oh. Um. We'll go. We'll we'll go with that for this we'll case. Go. We'll go with that. That works. But um, I'll probably look at <laughs> well, Eves no, and Clark. And yeah. I'll probably go um, look at Eves and Clark and say, um, I'm just going to head back to see if Dr. Popov will give me his journal. Uh, no needs. I've already got it. I sort of pull it out, flash it, and put it back in my pocket. That makes no sense. It's mostly it's mostly a Russian. It's, it's just a lot of... Um, it's a lot of nonsense, really. I'm actually quite disappointed. May I have a lying, look? Obviously, uh, you can look with your eyes, and I'll pull it out, and I'll just have a skim. Like, do you understand Russian? Do you understand crazy Russian? I have a translator, okay. and I have a brain. Can you please pass me the journal so I can have a look as we walk to our next destination? Okay, it's on you, but I'll, I want it back, and uh, I'll, I'll give it to her. I trust her for now. Um, I'm happy to look at that while we go forth and do other things. Uh, speaking of the next destination, whereabouts? What's the plan? 
I wanted to remind you guys that you have that uh, uh, that map that you yeah, found. Yeah, I already posted uh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't really know oh, what room's okay, what, great. though, but... We need to find... Um, well, right Dr. now you can Lawrence. see where the where the four cells are on the far left, lower left side. Mm. So you're basically yeah. in that corner, right hallway. outside there. Yeah. Yeah. So you can kind of keep track. And and, and the warehouse directly across, uh, that's directly, say, well, we'll say north for the sake of argument, uh, is, is the warehouse where the bunker uh, currently is stuck in the wall. Well, I'm shell-shocked. The <clears> other two <throat> are fighting over the journal. Uh, how about you decide where we go, Clarky? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, just, Clark, is, Clark is the most stable at the moment. Yeah. This is both uh, Clarky and uh, me, firstly, John, trying to be like... I know we need to go to level two for the analyst room, but then we're also going to find a missing key. Yeah. Now, who has the who has the the, oh, the, the red, red key? key the one that, yeah, I've, I've got yeah. that. You got that? Okay. Just uh, as long as we know who has it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, you tell uh, us where we should go, Clark. You want to say something about an analyst room or something? Yeah, let's just check. I'm just going to check through this the red staircase. Is that an exit or is that? Yeah, in fact, yeah. You see, you see. Uh, uh, well, actually, uh, you're going to go into that room then. Yeah, I'll open the door. Yeah, with the okay. intention of going up the stairs. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. yeah. Is yeah, it going okay. up or down the stairs? I don't know if, if we're sub basement or if we're because level one, two, three is like counts downwards. Yeah, yeah. Know. So yeah, <clears throat> when you when you open the door, you see that it, it's almost like a uh, 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 what's kind of like a uh, a waiting area. It looks like there are, um, uh, there are several steel benches that are secured to the floor. Uh, there's a small table against the wall that holds a cheap coffee maker and uh, a stack of plastic mugs. Unfortunately, the machine is badly charred, and judging by the scorch marks on the wall, it must have recently been on fire. Uh, in the corner is a mass of gore, bone fragments, and shreds of military uniform that look like what you would imagine would happen if someone swallowed a hand grenade. Um, on the on the entire you know uh, on the wall to the left when you walk in is it looks like a thick window of of glass, um, but it's covered with countless sort of stress stress cracks and dust uh, that make it difficult to see anything. On the other side, though, the dominant color in the room beyond appears to be red. I will close the door. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, you can see the you can see you can see it you can see a lift on the on the opposite wall when you walk in as well, and you see a door on the far left. Uh, sorry, so far right corner that are stairs. It looks like going. Yeah. Through. All right. In that case, I'll go over the stairs. But I remember the lifts are out of commission at the moment. I can't remember exactly. I just vaguely remember someone saying that, or we got that information from somewhere. Um, so yeah, I'll go over to the stairs through the room. Do the um, stairs go <clears throat> up or down? Uh, they go up. Um, you, you there's, there's, a, there's a small little window in the door. You can see the the stair landing beyond, but you can also see that there's there's there, there's some there's piles of debris. And um, uh, heavy masonry it looks like it's fallen, uh, but the stairs do look there. They go up, um, but you don't see any downstairs in that room. Okay, I think we want downstairs from memory. Logically, I think that makes sense. Thoughts, everyone? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll follow you in on that. Uh, All right, this. Are you sure this is where we should go, Clarky? Uh, no, I think I think we need to go down a level. Hey, uh... To level two. Sorry I hit you, man. Uh, you know what, it's, it's alright, I'm sure you were going through some stuff. It's been, a, it's been a rough day, but, uh... Just don't do it again, eh? Yeah, yeah. And, like, a very forced fake laugh. <laughs> yeah. He's still shell shocked, but he's not going to hit you. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> like he's just he's what, what the? Just, he's like, uh, just, yeah. uh, like I, don't, I don't even, I don't even think I want to know what happened through that fucking window. Uh, Looking at the yeah. win window through, with all the red. <laughs> all 
I'm like looking at the other side of the wall where there's like obviously the bone and the blood and the spear. I'm like, let's um, let's go back the other way. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so you you head back out into the hallway then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Amelia, he was, uh, I don't, uh, I don't think we want to go in there. Oh, okay. She okay. she looks up uh, from the journal and goes, oh, 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 okay. Um, Billy, actually, could you help me with this? She figures that if you've got something to do and to help and to talk about. Oh yeah, make the insane one read the journal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or more of a like Yves, a task. Yves. Yves is offended by the fact that you're asking Billy to do this and not Yves. Yves. Uh, okay, okay. What, 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 what do you want me to do? I don't know. Just have a look at it with me and see what you think, and see if there might be any clues as to when uh. the next pulse might be coming or what the key is. And... I told you when the next pulse is coming. It's coming in fifty minutes. But, Why are you asking this boy? I, I, I'll read the journal and tank my sanity even more. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so where, where are you guys headed? Uh, I think right to the, to the main hallway, and then yep. probably just straight on down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah well, looking, down the long at hallway. The map, looking at the map, we go down the long hallway, right? We can and go just, down the long hallway, um, or we can take a right at like a little bit down the hallway. Well, I think just yeah, just... I think you take the lead, Clark, and like the first thing of interest that you could go, or oh, maybe we should look in here. We'll just do that. Yep. We'll just can keep walking at least. Yeah, so I think you're taking the lead, and I'm walking with Amelia. Sweet. All right. So yeah, you be you be in walking past. You walk past the the open door that led to the uh, to the office where you found the tape, you know, the Novikov uh, recording and all that stuff. Uh, you continue on. Uh, there's a, a single door on the right. Uh, the double doors, by the way, are are currently propped open. They have like little locks that keep them open. Uh, in, that are in the hall itself. So you basically you just see just see darkness down, with the occasional overhead fluorescent light sort of flickering. Um, <clears throat> you uh, you come to another set of doors, and uh, if if you uh, are you guys using your your translators at all on some of these labels and so forth, or yeah, I'd probably be doing that on all of them. Yeah, because basically basically the way these things work is you can just kind of hold it up. And if it's on, you know, you'll you'll see a little box appear around around any text it sees, and it will provide a little translation if it knows what if it knows what it says. So they're they're pretty simple to use. Um, but the, uh, the 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 double next to the double doors, the first double doors you come to on the on the left, uh, it says infirmary. Um, and uh, the. Uh, the ones on the right are all warehouses, basically. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Um, continue on. Um, yeah, between warehouse two and three, I think we'd just take a right there and then just walk head yeah. to the stairs. <clears throat> yeah, so you come through and, and there's just a long, narrow corridor of just darkness. The it looks awfully dangerous. The lights in here, that way. The lights in here don't seem to be working. Do you have uh, a touch? Yep. I believe you. I believe. I believe you do. And actually, yeah, I believe uh, we you, do. Th th there were actually uh, LED flashlights that came with. Uh, That's that came right. With yep. Your your merch your merch kit. <laughs> oh, sure. I probably took the torch. Or we threw everything else away, but I might have taken the torch. I brought everything. Oh, very good. Ah, oh, you've got the touch! Uh, yep. This, yeah. yeah, this way, I think, uh, looking at the map, okay, so I'll have, like, the tablet in one hand and yeah. the torch in the other. I think I've got the mine as well. And a beer in your third hand. <laughs> <laughs> if only. I'm sort of, like, looking back at, at Amelia and uh, Billy and me, like, making sure they're not, like, walking off with my journal. I wasn't even asked to fucking help translate, even though I'm the physicist. Anyway, well, because not, not, that's not, not really <laughs> that's not really my objective, Eves. But you can certainly think that. As we're looking oh, at Eves the is, journal, Eves is 100 percent thinking that. <laughs> M, M, like, M definitely didn't hear you possibly having a turn towards being a villain while you were in there talking to Pop Off. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So yeah, so you you you're going down the hall. Um, who's in front? 
Me. <laughs> Clark. I'm okay. pretty close. I'm yeah. pretty close. It'll be yeah. Clark, yeah. Eves, and then me and Amelia together. Yeah. Alright, uh Clark Clark, give me a give me a an intelligence roll. It's good, it's fifteen, so Okay. Um half it's, success. It's, it's 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 a weird thing to notice, right? You, you you know, you're not even sure why you noticed it. But you realize that uh uh that you're 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 right-handed like you know the majority of people you know in the world um but you immediately notice that you're you're for some reason you're holding the flashlight in your in your left hand and it just feels it feels more comfortable that way you don't know you have no idea why why it occurred to you but it just occurred to you as you're walking down and you look and you're you you realized it, it, it was just a realization because you're not, you know, for some reason you're not used to it. But it feels comfortable in your left hand. Mm, that's weird. Yeah. That's, that's, that's about what it feels like. It's just weird. Um, but you make it to the end of the corridor. There's a, there's a, a stand at the door like the others. It, it opens. Um, there are stairs going down. <clears throat> the stairwell the stairwell is pretty much uh all concrete it has it has uh you know steel uh handholds but it's all just pretty much uh concrete all the way down sweet um i guess we'll go down a little all right oh. um especially and... keeping an eye out for any maps like this as soon as we get down to the next level sure sure um, I just want to check one thing really quick. So you're... All right, someone, uh, someone, give me a D twelve. Actually, well, since you're in front, Clark, give me a D twelve roll. Twelve, six. Okay. So you 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 continue you continue you, you I assume you go down the stairs. Uh, yep. I'll obviously right. look over my shoulder, make sure everyone else is following me. Uh, is every uh, is everyone going along? Yes. Yeah. I'm a bit nervous about going down a long dark corridor, but yes, I'm following <laughs> along. Yeah. At some yeah. point, when relevant, can I have a conversation with Billy? But whenever. Sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you, if you want, you can do that at any any time. But uh, I just want to point out that you go down the steps. It it turns it turns a couple times. You actually descend what feels like at least uh, two, maybe two floors or three. Um, depending on the height of the landing, but uh, you, you but you get down there and uh, you reach a landing where there where there is a uh, where there's a door, and uh, it says in Russian level two. Um, but something really weird about it is, your 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 when you go to translate it, it's having trouble uh, at first because it looks like it's it's printed on the wall backwards. Right. Why on earth? This looks like it's backwards. But Why would they have it backwards? But the word level is a palindrome. It shouldn't matter. Oh, it is in English, you <laughs> idiot. Ah. <laughs> um, in English. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And it's on the other side. Now that you think about it, it's on the other side of the door. Yeah, that is weird. It is very strange. Uh, what, are you, uh, what are you trying to talk to me about while we go down the stairs and meow? <clears throat> so, as you're holding the journal and having a look through, I'm talking to you at the same time. A so, little bit of indirect um, misdirection here. And I say, sometimes guilt manifests in lots of various and interesting ways. Now, I have something called client patient, oh, sorry, <laughs> patient doctor <laughs> confidentiality. And if you ever wanted to tell me something, I couldn't tell anybody else. Now, I'm not saying you have to or that you should, but I just want you to know that you are a good person. It is okay. You are safe or as safe as you can be. And if you ever want to tell me something, I'm here to listen and it will never move past you and me. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. 
that's okay, you don't have to. But when you said that you killed him, it sounded like you were talking about someone else. And I just thought that if you hadn't had what, a chance... What the fuck are you about, talking about? In your moment of rage and in your moment of meltdown, you said you killed him. And it was clear to me that you weren't talking about the body on the floor. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what does this journal say? Again, deflecting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you you can you can you can make a psychology role, but you don't really need one to know that he's that he's deflecting. It's it's pretty obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's obviously deflecting, yeah. but you're still not getting an answer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I still I just say a little bit more, and then I basically leave it. But it's just. Well, I've gathered this much, Billy, and you might think that you're good at keeping a secret, but it's actually not as brilliant as you think you are at it. For instance, I know that you think that you killed someone, probably a boy or a man, and had something to do with water, and that you feel immense guilt about it, that you're carrying with you to this day, and that you feel that it's a secret, and that you're worried that it might get out. So all I'm saying is, if and when you feel like you want to talk about it, I'm here, but I shan't push it anymore. Tell me what's going on in the journal. Uh, Billy's probably getting a little bit frustrated. <laughs> but you think he's so smart? You think he's so smart? You know, help us get out of here, then, you fucking yank. I grab the journal back and I walk away from Billy. <laughs> and I walk back up to Billy. I was reading that. I read half of it. Can I have half of what was in it? <laughs> um. Does Billy really speak Russian? Physics role. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and does he speak Russian? No. Um. By the way, uh, Clark, you do find another one of those evacuation maps uh, stuck to the wall uh, down at the bottom mm. of the stairs. Excellent. I will go ahead and open that up. My character's not happy with you, Em. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Weird um, thing when you pry about people's secrets, they absolutely love it. I know, right? Thunk it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's people's favorite thing. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves to be encouraged to be vulnerable. Oh, fun. I can't right. just give up deep secret that I've never told anyone. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm, yeah, I want to talk to yeah. Clark about this map. Oh, so sure. Probably, uh, I, I was actually going to try and listen in on that conversation because I'm like jealous of like, what are they talking about? What have they uncovered? But I failed, my, I failed a listen roll. So now I'm just going to be like, Clark, uh, 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 Clark, uh, yeah. is this yeah, map? Uh, what do you, I mean, those, those things right. on the top, lip, top uh, right, they look like warehouses, but what do you think uh, the bottom things look, what do you think they are? Uh, you said we're looking for some sort of analyst room, is that right? Yeah, so maybe those could be servers, but isn't it like, mm. aren't we in like the 1970s or something? Servers? I mean, well, that's my theory that we're in the 1970s, and if that is the case, then servers likely would not exist. Um, was the first supercomputer was not developed until, what, the 80s? Oh, I mean, you had Alan Turing and his Turing machine, but uh, apart from that, um, no, most, most computers, most computer rooms are that big, so maybe it is some yeah. sort of computer room. Uh... I can't remember. Am I still carrying around the goddamn computer parts? Probably. I think you put it away. Yeah, I think, you, we, you I, would have yeah, I, think I ditched no. it, didn't I? I'm you like, dropped it. I told you to drop it. It's like, don't worry. Yeah, fuck that. Would, yeah. It would have been handy, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's... Yeah, it blows a little mind of seeing a computer like had, that small. Had, yeah, had our things characters room, accepted you know? that we travelled back in time? I have. I, I have, but I'm, I don't know if I've convinced anyone else. Oh, okay. Yeah, I... Clark Clark came to the same sort of conclusion. Mm. He didn't voice it because he's like, oh, that sounds crazy. That don't even <laughs> seem it's crazy. Mm. Uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, Billy, I wanted you, uh, could you wanted, could you make me a spot hidden roll? Is this while I had the journal or after it? No, this is, this is when you were talking to Amelia. Okay. Uh, 46. What's my spot hidden? Oh, I'm going to spend one luck. Okay. Unless it's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hard to say know. at this point. 
You'll yeah. have to find it's out. Hard to say this point. Okay. Um, so, uh, Amelia has this, uh, the, I don't know if she's, she's mentioned it to any of you, but, uh, you know, you, some of you have probably noticed that she has, uh, uh, hetero, heterochromia, uh, iridium, which is, uh, uh, she has different color eyes, one, one blue and one green. Um, oh. and, and, uh. Uh, you know, it's 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 different enough where you, where you kind of notice it, but you don't say anything because you know it's kind of a weird thing to sort of comment on a lot of times. But uh, uh, when you you know when she she was she was really focusing on you when you when she was talking to you and and like really trying to make solid eye contact, and you could have sworn that 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 the colors were reversed before, that they were different before now. Um, so you you, you kind of suspect that maybe. Maybe she uses colored lenses or something. This is just in your head, obviously, but uh, you know, this is just something you noticed that, like, I, I thought, I thought the, I thought the, I thought the the green eye was on the other side before, and, and it just sort of goes through your head as you're trying to not listen to what she's saying to you. You're you're trying to focus on anything else, and you happen to notice that that they looked different. Okay. Um, well, I can either keep it that to myself, or we can wreck on a bit and not have that argument, and then I mention to that here instead. It's it's up to you if you want to mention it, because it, it probably just got a, sort of struck you after oh. the fact kind of thing. It was kind of like, wait a minute. Yeah. You know, okay. No, just, uh, we've yeah. still had our little tiff, and uh, yeah, yeah. And then afterwards, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, hang on, your eyes were the wrong way around. But I don't say that to anyone. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's possible. Maybe she she wears colored contact lenses. Now Liam is confused maybe. because I can't remember if there's already <clears throat> significance to this scenario about different colored eyes, or if I'm thinking of a show or like story from something else that I recently. <laughs> I, I, I will I will tell you that so far you have encountered nothing. Okay, it must have been some other show that I've watched that. where different colored so, eyes was a big importance. <laughs> I don't want you. I don't want you going down a per, you know your own personal rabbit hole trying to put it together when there's nothing there. People so. have different uh, colored eyes and they're evil. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Secretly a robot. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah. She's part. Um, she's in it. The eyes. All right. Eyes. So so e- Eves and Clark, you guys have the you guys have the map and and uh, hmm. you're at you're at, sort of you're at the bottom of the stairs. Going. Oh yeah, yeah, but just down the corridor, all the way straight. Yep. Okay. Same. It's Sounds the same thing. There's, uh, you you hit you you're heading down there. Um. Still, still, sort of pitch dark. There's, there's one light at the end that's sort of flickering. Yep. Um, but, uh, you, but you make it to the end, and and open the door. The door is a little stiff at the end, um, but it, but it opens with a with a kind of creaking sound, and you come out into the corridor, which is a bit, a bit more lit. Uh, the lights are still kind of flickering. But uh, it's just one long corridor that just goes off into darkness. Uh, I'll probably just have a look at first and foremost what's what's in this room straight at, straight across the, from us. It's okay. Squares. Um. Yeah. So you 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 uh you can uh even over the the sort of you you kind of hear the background sounds. This this place has sort of an ambient sound to it of of fans and pipes and so forth. You know, like most sort of underground industrial places, and. Uh, <clears throat> Um, yeah, but y- you you hear more significant noise coming from from behind behind the door. It it definitely sounds like it's louder behind beyond beyond the door. Okay. Can we open the door? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. Uh. So. Um, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> So you're immediately sort of um, uh, hit by 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 a sort of uh, heat and sound. Um, this room is is basically just loud and hot. You, you notice that there are, are these huge machines in here, three uh, industrial what look like air conditioners um, that, that that appear to be running hard, um, <clears throat> and uh, and there's a great deal of like I said just. You know, you can feel additional heat sort of, sort of billowing out of this room even as the door as, as you open the door, um, and the sound is deafening. 
Are they old, like old, old computers, or are they actually just air conditioning units? No, no, these are just air conditioning units. All oh, right, okay. <coughs> uh, uh, but they're but they're running they're running hard. They're they're <laughs> they're putting out a lot of uh, yeah a lot of energy. Uh, okay, I'll close that door. Okay. <laughs> It immediately gets a little bit quieter. <laughs> uh, like just the, some sort of air room or something. Yeah, old AC uh, units. Old AC, probably to, yeah. Probably to keep the whole place Most cool certainly. or hot. Mm. One or the other. Depends on mm. where we Dr. are. Dr. Cluck, how'd you yes. go with no, Dr. Cluck? Dr. Yeah, Dr. Taylor, how'd you go with the book? Did you find anything useful? Um, can I actually do a roll to before I answer that question? Yeah, yes. Sorry. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we can do that. So, um, I assume you're using the translator, so give me a, uh, uh, well, first, can, yeah, give, because you're translating, um, uh, the, the device is trying to translate handwritten text, um, it's not, uh, it's not going to be 100% accurate necessarily, so, um, if you give me a, uh, percent, just a percentile roll, and I'll, I'll I know what it means. A percentile roll, <laughs> so just still roll a D100. Nat one. A natural one? Oh, wow. Fuck. That's nice. Well, Dr. Taylor ma- can speak ma- Russian. Ma- from a translation She's in on it. She's in on it, mate. She's Never <laughs> happened before. I've read a lot of crazy people journals. A lot of crazy people journals in my time. Uh, appar- appar- uh, apparently, Popov's handwriting is really good because it just... it It's, it, it's, it's, clo- it's close to, like... 80 or 90 percent accurate as far as you know the text and, and most of you and the rest of you can sort of figure out almost in context um and and it's and you begin sort of sc- it begins scrolling on your on your little tra- on the uh on the translate as, as as it goes up and it's and you're watching some of these words go past and it's 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 a fa- it's a fascinating reading as, as as it's going up you can you can almost you can sort of from a from a psychological standpoint you can see where uh, Popov apparently started having um, he started having trouble sleeping uh, and that sort of devolved into nightmares and then at, at some point he he begins mentioning this entity that um, in his dreams called named Zakar and, and it continues on and, and, and you're sort of watching this and you're thinking about uh, from a from a psychological standpoint how fascinating this is this is a this is a a, a road map of someone's descent into madness, almost, you, you you get very excited about it, thinking how that this could make a, an amazing research paper just just on this on this book alone. Um, and I need you to make a power roll, please. Yes, join me in insanity. <laughs> join me, Amelia. <laughs> um, I got fifty-five. Uh, is it success or uh, the character sheet. or failure? Is it still the same as the others? Uh, you, you'll power. you'll have a power skill. Uh, it's it's a power. Yeah, it's your power. So as in above yeah, fifty just, success, below fifty. Yeah, 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 yeah Failure. Yeah. If it's below. If it's below yeah. success. And then I fail. I fail by five points. Okay. I would say that something you'll like this up. has gotten me into trouble before. You've been looking at this book a long time, Dr. Taylor. Have you found anything useful? So you, you, you sort of stop reading at a certain point as, you, as, you, as you're scrolling through it. And um, some, of, some of it began to get kind of disturbing in a way. But then, you, but then you came upon some other things that were clearly physics related that you didn't quite understand. And, and fortunately for you, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, you 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 kind of, you and you decided to uh, you know maybe consult with someone else later, but but like I said, overall you, you're you're fascinated with the book because just from its you know uh, pure um, academic value as a as a study of this person's descent into madness. <clears throat> so, in answer to your question, Eves. So you've turned around and you've gone, have you found anything from the book? 
Mm. I almost come like running up to you, like it's a half jog because I'm so excited. And I go, Eves, mm. this is fascinating. I'm watching this man begin with psychosis and then progress into larger forms of mental illness with increasing hallucinations and delusions. It's absolutely fascinating. Um, I, I don't understand the physics of it. I mean, that's your area of expertise, of course. I would never. Um, mm. But I can tell that the man has such a strong intellect. And, you know, that, that line between creativity and madness is often quite blurred. Um, so I, with your permission, I know you found the journal and I, I, I know we need it to perhaps work out the machine and what's happening and where we're going. But I would love to take this back to do it, a deeper and further study of it. Uh, doctor, that is that is quite a brilliant idea, I must say. Um, look, listen, I has a, I have a thought. Um, the f uh, the physics of the book, uh, I believe, are groundbreaking. Like something like this only comes once in a millennia. Um, I believe, with your help, we can maybe read this book and figure out this genius behind it. I think you and I together, um, we can come up with something that the scientific world has never seen before and with this journal I think it can help us I think what we should do is we should first get out of here alive obviously that is the first thing we need to do but then uh, perhaps we uh, we work together on this you and I partners Amelia uh, looks a little uncomfortable at the idea of like a groundbreaking scientific discovery she looks far hmm. more interested in it being a representation of mental illness and um, tracking through that and looking at it as a, a guide, mm. if you will, in that space. Um, you can see probably across her face, because she wouldn't have masked it very well, that she gets uncomfortable when you indicate that you want to work together and that you kind of don't tell people. Like she gets a bit worried that you wouldn't alert somebody to that scientific discovery or begin to talk about the ethics. So her response is tailored with that, which is, well, if we were both going to collaborate on such a piece of research, um, you'd probably want an ethics team to take a look at it in terms of, mm. I, I mean, what's possible and what we should be doing. But anyway, I, I guess we should mm. really be focusing on the task at hand. But uh, and here's your journal. Yeah. And she wants to get out of the conversation okay. with me. So she, I I think just just for your benefit, I think the way that Yves is talking to you currently is completely different to how he's talked to anyone else so far. I think the only time it got close was when he was trying to teach Clark how to use the um, the gasometer, the the gasometer, um, and it's basically like he's almost like a child exploring the wonders of the universe and as he's hearing about how you found this book to be an, like an amazing revelation of a person's descent into madness he softens up quite a lot and he's and you can do a psychology role if you want but I, he's he's trying to come he's trying to come he's coming across as endearing as possible because he, i think he is genuinely like infatuated with the idea of like oh this is going to be like we're going to learn so much from this and we're going to learn and it's going to be awesome so i don't know if you want to with that context, do you want to temper that or if you want to stay guarded? But that's basically how Yves is coming across. Oh, it, and, it, and it's genuine. Like, he's genuinely like, oh, you've also resonated with this book as much as I have. This is awesome. Let's work together on this. And, and you know, and it, like, Yves, is, Yves is, a, is a dickhead, but he is also like, you know, he's a man of science and he's a man of, you know, I mean, he's a university professor. He's a man of rules, so he's probably like, "Oh yeah, ethics. Yes, of course. We will, we must deal with the ethics of it, of course." But I still think this is incredible. This, I mean, I, I, you know, the physics. We can learn so much from the physics, and we can learn so much from the psychology. I think this this book is invaluable. We should definitely try and work together on this. Um, I would be more than happy to send you a copy uh, once once this is all done, and we can, you know, you can use it for whatever you need to. But for now, I think it is important that we, we keep this safe and we get out of here alive. That is the most Clark, important thing. Clarky, so bruv. Lose this. Clarky, bruv. Yeah, what? What's up? Uh, uh, I, th I think these two will be looking for a room soon. How about you and me work on how we get <laughs> fuck out of here, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, this, this <laughs> I was, was going to say, in contrast, we're going to cut to the two in front who are... <laughs> two fucking jocks. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so I, I just assume we're just walking down this long ass okay. corridor no, all the way down to yeah, the Yeah, have you checked this room? Have you checked this room? And I opened the first door, I see. Oh, isn't that. Okay. This is me trying to get as far away from Amelia questioning me as possible. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as as it, as it happens, uh, the the room the room you open is a lavatory. You you open the door and and uh, it's a uh, uh, it's a it's a relatively small single you know single person sort of uh, bathroom sink toilet. Um, uh, it's uh, the the uh, the seat the seat is slightly up like like there's something in it, um, but uh, other than that, it seems pretty. You know, pretty, pretty, pretty plain. Oh, here you, you know, go. Anyone, anyone need to take a shit? Ah, <laughs> uh, Billy. Just, <laughs> this door just here, and it's literally the door opposite. I'll open just for that massive. You know long what? Room. I needed to go. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> it, this, this is Billy trying to get back to his banter, banter ways to hide the fact sure. that Amelia's onto him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that anyone need, um, anyone need to take a shit? Uh, all right, Clarky, where do we need to go, man? I'm, I I ignore you because I'm just getting fascinated about this book and sharing I know. it with Eve. You, you, you two are looking for the bedroom. I don't know if there's a bedroom on here, Amelia. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> those, those are those are back on, on level one. All right, where do you, um, where do you reckon we should go, Clarky? <laughs> oh, well, let's so, see. Uh, yeah, Clark, you you just opened another another door. It looks like a the uh, door opposite that uh, bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what what you see is is a is a, a massive sort of database computer room. Um, definitely seventies oh. era technology. Um, this you know, uh, but there uh, the room the room is currently dark. Um, but you can see you can see a few a few. Uh, uh, power lights on on these machines um <clears throat> these are these are sort of the old uh style of computers with the the big you know the big data reels and stuff like that uh i'll drop a picture in the uh oh, yeah in the, yeah in the um yeah, it, oh, yeah. The, the, it, these are old very old style, looking uh, yeah. computers um but uh, it's just <clears throat> rows and rows and rows of them um, they, you're 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 one, you're basically one end of the room, and they they kind of they kind of go off to the left, and you see rows and rows of these things going down the whole length of it. Clarky, brother, yeah. is this the analysis analysis room you're looking for, man? Yeah, this is this is, this will be it. Uh, well, this the, well this yeah this one looks this well you don't see any well, well at least at this end you don't see any uh, any terminal terminal yeah I was gonna uh, say like the, I, the, I, the, the, these these are also the well. What we would think of today as mainframes. These are the <coughs> the yeah. hard drives themselves, but uh, you don't see any access points at this in this I'd area. Probably just walk, then lead the way, and then just try and find like walk down a couple of rows, and then just walk down the entire road to the other end. Yeah, I'll follow you. Sure. And just keeping an eye out. Yeah. <clears throat> sure. So as 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 you walk down, you get about maybe halfway or so. And as you shine the light down, you can see that um, some of these uh, down some of these rows, they, they look like they have this uh, this heavy sort of fungal growth um, growing along the sides of them and then against the back wall. And it, it seems to be getting worse the further you go down. But there's there, there's there's like this heavy sort of uh, um, uh, let's well, say what looks like it looks like fungus just sort of growing off these machines and and up against the wall. Kind of clogging some of these openings. What the fuck is going on here? This has been the Fumbled Anthology. New episodes are released every Sunday. And for more information, please check out our website, fumbledanthology.com, 
or seek us out on the social media of your choice. See you next week.